and you're watching the Mr. Iron Nugget YouTube channel. Alright everyone, let's take a look at the Bill figure Thor wave of Heimdall from Infinity War and Valkyrie from Endgame. Now the reason I'm doing this one is because, well, one, we just got um, Hasbro Pulse, their fan Friday thing, I don't know what it's called, sue me, but really, I don't want to go over that, and plus we have Fat Thor, we all need Fat Thor in our lives. So I reviewed two Asgardians from the set of the Fat Thor Bill figure wave. I can't speak right now. This is going to be one take because um, I'm a little bit lazy. So, without further ado, let's get into the packaging of these figures. Starting with Heimdall's packaging, on the top it says Build a Figure Thor. On on top it says 4 Plus Legend Series right there and the Avenger symbol right there. Full display window showing a Build a Figure part. We'll get to that later. And the figure itself. Then right here it says Marvel's Avengers Infinity War Heimdall. Hasbro and on this side we get a good glam shot of the figure on the other side the same thing on the back The same picture and a little blurb about the character itself right here It says build a figure Thor then there's build a figure Thor himself with all the rest of the figures except for one I don't have I don't have this guy pretty disappointing. I don't have this guy how cap. I don't have this guy. This is disappointing So now let's get the Valkyrie's packaging now, Valkyrie, it's basically the same thing. So, Bill Figure Thor, 4 Plus, Warring, Choking Hazard, Choke on Everything. Uh, Legend Series, Open Display Window with Valkyrie and the Bill Figure Piece. Marvel's Avengers Endgame, Marvel's Valkyrie. Hasbro right there on the side. Good glam shot of her in her armor on the same thing right there. Avengers logo right there, embroidered. And on the same back, it's, it's the same photo. Then, Marvel Legends Valkyrie. Blurb right there, Fat Thor figures, and the only one that I don't have. Bill Figure Thor right there, bunch of blurbs right there, and on the bottom it's the same with I'm Doll. Didn't want to get on the bottom. So now let's crack Valkyrie open first, because Valkyrie's pretty interesting. So the accessories that come with this figure are the Bill Figure pieces, of course. So there it is. This is supposed to be Fat Thor's leg when we see him at the beginning of Endgame. So there we go. I definitely love the detail on this. So. There is that. And now I'm excited that we're going to get the Fat Thor because I the only part that I don't have is the head. And he comes with two heads. So if I can use one of those heads, that would be cool. So that I can actually have a Fat Thor that's in this costume. So there it is. Bendable as can never be. I love the detail on it with the blue and the green. With the uh, gray shoe right there. Then she comes with sort of two accessories that wouldn't necessarily count. Uh, one of them is accessory, but she has her sword that she fought Hella with right here. I definitely love this uh, sort of blue right here. It's an amazing piece for the figure and the white on the bottom with a little bit of silver. You know I love my silver with these figures. Then we have a sheath for this sword. So the sword just goes right in there like that and I love how the sheath looks they do not uh, bring any they bring up so much detail to this sheath to Valkyrie now Valkyrie technically this isn't a accessory but she does come with this it's her cape but we'll get to that later you see that there's two little ports right there for her to wear it so let's take a look at Heimdall's accessories now with Heimdall, he comes with the Bifrost sword, so this is what helps him open up the Bifrost for Thor and Loki in the Thor movies, and I love this thing. This is awesome to have for a figure. Now, this actually did release with a Thor eye patch version, but he didn't have the sword in the movie because it was concept art. It was uh, a bit in Infinity War Thor, so there's that right there. I wish there was a little bit more gold on this. I'm, I'm really picky about paint. <laughs> so, uh, there's not a lot of gold in that. There's some brown, but not a lot. And he also comes with a, a Build-A-Figure piece. It's the, it's the uh, other leg for Thor right here so just same right there yep okay and the trays almost fell and he comes with a cape pretty good detail right here 
Love it. Looks great. On the back, there's that inside. Sort of some detail, but not a lot. So now, let's get into Heimdall himself. So here's Heimdall right here with the cape on. And I think this head sculpt looks a lot like Idris Elba, who plays Heimdall in the Thor movies. I Now, I am suspecting that we are going to get Infinity Saga armored up Heimdall because we are getting an Infinity Saga Thor. So I'm going to be surprised if we're getting an Infinity Saga armored Heimdall. There we go. That, that got out of my mouth. So... Right here, we have his cape, like I already said. Looks like it has great detail of the hood of the cape. Looks like it's actual stitching, which I really love for it. Then right here, we have uh, his uh, actual texture uh, shirt right here. I'll just get the cape off for you right here. And it is a good shirt with some... Uh, pouches right here and not a place to hold the sword I thought it was at first but it isn't and I definitely love the maroon colored red here and you can see when you take the uh the actual hood off there's some scuff marks in Heimdall because this is an Infinity War Heimdall and this is I think it's after or before when he sends Hulk to the Sanctum Sanctorum so I definitely love that right there that they put some detail into that. And he has some good wrappings for his arms too. And right here, darker pants right here with some cool boots, I think. I love those boots. They look pretty cool. And I think on the head sculpt uh, and it moves the tripod i think there is orange in his eyes which indicates that he is contacting somebody so he could so this could be when he is sending hulk to earth because i do remember him i think he contacted somebody while he was trying to send hulk to earth so there is that right there so now let's get into valkyrie now, I don't have Valkyrie with her cape on because uh, that, that thing just sort of falls off a lot. So, right here we have the head sculpt of her Valkyrie. I think it looks spot on. Tessa Thompson right there. I think it looks great uh, right here. And it's uh, up and down jointed too, so that's also great. Love the hair sculpt right here. Just down like that. Then we got some gold on the figure with some white. I think I think my new favorite color is gold and white. I think my two favorite colors mixed here are gold and white. And we got some blue in there too. Right there. Going all the way down to the to to the hips it seems. So it doesn't go down to the legs, which is unfortunate. But then again, that is movie accurate, so I definitely love the knee pads of the figure definitely love the gloves right here with the gold right here the gold shoulder pads and definitely love the texture in this figure looks amazing in it and that's my dog up there it's kind of not doing too good in this so yeah there's a, there, there, there's a Valkyrie right there. Honestly, having two at variance is pretty cool to have in my MCU, MCU display right there. It's hard to point to it while you're trying to focus on the camera and then point to it. Uh, point. Okay, well, that's not going to work. But it's definitely cool to have a lot of Asgardians in my display. So I did uh, pick up Valkyrie for that and I also picked up Heimdall for it, so I feel like if you want to have an Asgardian display, I would recommend having these two as your main ones, as he is the gatekeeper to the Nine, Nine Realms. That's Thor. That is Thor that is the gatekeeper. I meant to say he's the one that opens the Nine Realms. I think that's what his job is, but now he's dead, so we don't know, actually. And then here's a Valkyrie. We're trying to fight Hela. 
I'm a Pegasus. I wish we got Pegasus. And I wish we got Pegasus. I, I just wish we got Pegasus. We could have gotten a Hasbro. If we, we could have got Pegasus with, with that for you, it been pretty cool and everything. Just please go get us a Pegasus. I'm going on way too long. Now, let's get into the articulation of Valkyrie. So, Valkyrie actually has not a lot of up, so that's as far as she can go. And as down as much as she can go back ab crunch right there so then that is a ab swivel right there is what i like to call it then both of her arms move up that much uh joint elbow only one only the female figures get that and then both uh and then this uh hand moves up and down and the other hand moves side to side, I think. Nope, up and down too. I thought it moved side to side, but no, that would make more sense when she has a a um, sword. So now, uh, she does not have any waist swivel. Her legs go out that much, up that much, back that much. Can she kick her own butt? Yes, she can. And she has some rocker right there feet move back that much a lot forward and yeah there is valkyrie's articulation now let's move on to heimdall heimdall without the cape moves up that much down that much and then both of his arms move up that much a lot and he has bicep swivel and i also forgot to mention that valkyrie also had bicep swivel has double joint elbows wrists move up and down Ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, swivel at that one. Then there is waist articulation, I think, maybe? I cannot tell. I don't think there is. Oh, wait, there is. Wait, no, maybe there isn't. I don't know. Then splits out that much, then moves up that much, back that much. Can he kick his own butt? He can kick his back. Then he has uh, forward, and then up, then has rocker right there. Now here are both of these Asgardians at the 6th inch scale, next to the Marvel Legends Loki 2-pack with Corvus Glaive. Didn't side take this guy out, the Corvus Glaive out, but I am going to be reviewing this Loki tomorrow, as we did get a Loki trailer, but I didn't want to review Loki today. Because I have these two guys, and Idris Alba literally has the Suicide Squad, Squad trailer came and speak because that was a cool trailer, and I'm excited for the movie. So there's Loki staying right there. I don't know what their heights are, but I think Tom Hiddleston's just a little bit taller than Idris Alba, maybe. And then I definitely know that Tessa Thompson is, like, really, really short. Now, I don't have a... A Thor figure on hand, but I do have Beta Ray Bill on hand. So here are the two next to Beta Ray Bill, and I definitely think we're gonna get him in Thor Four Love and Thunder. That was a ton twister to say, but yeah, I think we could get him in the movie, but I don't know. So here's the figures staying next to uh, Beta Ray Bill. I'm about to have an avalanche of boxes, but anyways, here are the figures standing next to a normal 16-inch scale figure with the Marvel Legends Night Thrasher. Got it right the first time. Ah. So at the end of the day, these figures are pretty good, and I think they're probably my favorite Asgardians now. Well, technically, well, technically Valkyrie's not an Asgardian, but we could still go with it. I feel like these figures really are good figures to have on any, like... MCU shelf that you have like it's a must-have for a Heimdall and a Valkyrie now. It's maybe top tier And now with this mess on my hands, I'm not mad. It's they're good figures. They're great. I feel like they're amazing You can't just go wrong with having two figures that have decent quality and have great paint apps and could maybe use a little bit of work But you know Almost all of this does too, so I can't really get mad so at the end of the day, Heimdall gets a A out of 10 as it's good pants and you really don't get to see a lot with it with the cloth on and really I don't see anybody who would have the uh, cloth off for a Heimdall. So I just give it a A out of 10 as I'm probably going to keep the cloth on for this figure. 
On the other hand, with Valkyrie, I give it a 9 out of 10, as it has great pants, as it shows that it's a great figure to pose with, and right here, it just looks awesome. I mean, what can you go wrong with? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And tomorrow, unlike the Cosmic Ghost Rider, I will actually do Loki and Corvus Glaive. I promise, I 100% promise, and I'm totally telling the truth, and I'm totally not going to do another figure. So, I'll see you guys later, and bye. Want to watch cool more epic videos? Click here.